Muna, muna kukati kitu? Mutakati. Mm, Nataka kuambia kitu. Mutakati. TikTok nowadays is toxic, man. What I've known in this world is that not everybody is going to love you. Eh, eh, chumi. To have you here. How are you, dear? I am good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, tell us more about pink ladies. To me, I'm going to deliver my Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Um, pink ladies is all about pink ladies. Uh -huh. It's these girls who decide to stay together. They are friends. They both have different personalities, different characters. It's fun. It's amazing. It's a dramedy. Mm -hmm. So expect some drama and some comedy in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited. It's a nice one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe why do you think they chose you? Aziada Kakuapale Kwenye Pink Ladies. Of course, we have so many actresses, yes. but you are chosen to be there. So there's something called auditions. They're held every single time before um, a movie starts, I think, or a series begins. So you go for auditions, you deliver, you wait, you shortlisted, you go back, you deliver, then you're called. If you're good, you're good. Yeah. You auditioned? I did audition. And I'm sure I met a lot of people during the auditioning because we did, we actually did two auditions. Um, uh, one was at a place in Gong Road, I cannot remember the name. And then the other one was at KNT. Yes. So I have seen your character. Uh -huh. How do you think you and your character, are there any similarities between the two of you? Any similarities between me and my character? Um, <laughs> the character that I'm playing is a quite bihi, bihi character. So people who know me personally are going to tell you that Cecilia is nothing close to Aziad. But people who do not know me, because I've seen a lot of comments yeah. on social media of the kind of person I am, will think it's true. So anyway, similarities, I'd say, Cecilia loves herself, she knows herself, she knows she's beautiful. So I think that is a similarity that we have. <laughs> I have seen some interesting things happen backstage, yes. like actors have to do things before they get into character. Do you have like a routine before you get into character? Do I have a routine? No. I do not have a routine that I have to do. But I can say, I, I, I can't call this a routine, but I'm, I'm, I'm someone who loves internalizing things first before I do them. So I prefer, like, let's say for example today. Today I was not on set, but yesterday I was on set. But tomorrow I am on set. So yesterday after set, I had to go through my lines for the next day. I, go, I went through them again today morning. Also today, uh, e today evening before I go to sleep, I'm going to do that. To just understand exactly what it is I'm going to do. Then now when we get um, uh, to the rehearsal, because we do a, a small rehearsal, and then the director sort of like does the, what is it called, blocking. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting into it. So I can say studying my lines before and studying them really, really nicely helps me. I don't think that's a routine. I think it's... <laughs> It's supposed to be everyone's job, no, every actor's job, I don't know, yeah. And as it, how does it make you feel to see a young you? Like you've really achieved a lot, you've really achieved a lot in life, you're a brand ambassador, so many companies, you hear acting, like how does it make you feel, what, maybe, what can you say about you as a brand as yet? Um, I'm grateful to God, I'm grateful. Um, I look back, I'm not shocked, I'm not surprised that all this is happening. But I'm grateful to God. It is. It, it does not come easy. You do not just wake up to um, the things that I've been able to um, uh, achieve till date. I'm grateful. I'm grateful to God. I'm grateful to myself because I put in the hard work. I really, really do. Um, I have an amazing team. I have an amazing, amazing supporters. So it's just a team. It's a teamwork. So it's not easy. Really. But, Speaking yeah. of everything happening, your dress is also happening, darling. Thank you. It is happening. <laughs> But I had like a small tear here. I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah, thank you. Who dressed? I'm Naomi, styled by Naomi. Yes. Thank you. My makeup, oh, the beautiful Lucy. And my hair, Nuru wigs. Give that guy all your money. Yes. So let's say, I'm going to 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 Eh, yeah. aki sijui. Na kwanza fanya sahi dola imepanda? Uh -huh. Dola ni 151 ama ni 150? Kuna by the way, no, that's what what to say if you if you say you don't have money, say don't don't say watu wako broke ni January watu wana pesa. Sema ni mi niko broke. Yeah. Sijui nimevaa nini. Lakini wewe jona tu inspire. Thank you. All right, as yet, congratulations for what you're doing in the industry. Thank you. People know you as the queen of TikTok. TikTok. Yes. But right now, I can say it, I can confess to the cameras, you are the queen of film. 
Oh, thank you. Wait, this and is the brands. first film you're watching? The no, 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 no. Have you watched that, right? Yes, the I've other one. Yes. Oh, nice. Yes. Thank you. Now, how do you feel when people compare you, when people brand you as the queen of film? Ah, <laughs> how I feel. I'm, 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 I'm honored. I'm grateful. It's nice. Um, I, 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 I can say I'm stammering. Yee, I'm stammering. I can say I'm just getting started. Yes. Um, yes. In with you're a radio presenter, you're an actress, you're a content creator. Yes. How do you balance all this? Oh, I'm a jack of all trades. I can say when God decided to bring us here in this world, He was like, you know what, I'm going to give you everything. So how I balance, again, me, I give all my credit back to God because God cannot give you what you cannot handle. Um, I was just speaking with Jinaki um, Mepotea. Niliembona nyanyangu jina mtu kipotea kama unataka kusema ameshiba. Jinaki Mepotea. But you're going to see the interview. Right now it's um, 22.56. It's honestly 4 minutes to 11. And I need to be up at 3 to go to work. And tomorrow I have set. And the next day I have set. So it's hectic. But again, um, Niko Nanguvu, bado mimi kijana mdogo. So we push. All right. All right. Maybe as we wind up now, yes. as yet, your English kidogo sounds South African. My English is not. I don't know. We put some to talk about. Hey, I'm an actress, Jumi. I can go to Nigeria even right now, uh -huh. and I can even go to England. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm just an actress. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, because people yes. want to be able to work with future projects, yes. just to understand maybe your red card yes. as an actress, as queen of uh, queen of film. Yes. What is your red card right now? Oh, my red card. If you want to understand my red card, you could just like email me if anyone wants to do business. My email is on my um, uh, bio. Um, <laughs> my socials are <laughs> as you know, as you know, Oh, my email. Yeah, no, I, I just want to understand if it's in terms of now. Your yes. Like, like your value right now. Yes. Now it depends. In terms of dollars. How many? Um, <laughs> I am not. At least, no, it's not. A, it's not a bad thing to $10, say that. Ten thousand. What is that? Ten thousand dollars. Um, I do not understand the language you're speaking. But what I can say is this: <laughs> If you're a content creator and you want to learn how to make your credit card, come to the Synergy Convention that's going to be happening on the 11th of November. We're going to be talking about making credit cards, having management, how to just make yourself and create yourself from elevate yourself from just being a content creator to becoming a brand to yourself to working with international brands yes and as that you are one of the uh, tiktokers when you are lifanya to kapenda tiktok yes maybe what do you feel in a change pale tiktok kenya you feel like maybe it should be done what I can say is TikTok is an amazing place. It can build a lot of people if you use the platform really well. Um, a lot of toxicity. TikTok nowadays is toxic, man. But yeah, there are a lot of amazing people there. So shout out to you guys. What I can say is just be nice and make sure that the content that you create satisfies you. If it does satisfy you, then um, I guess that matters at the end of the day. But sometimes things satisfy you that are not nice, so... <laughs> yes? Oh, to love you. I mean, despite the hate that you got, Manzo, Manzo, how is it? How, how is it right now? And to encourage your fellow content creators, how can they deal with people who don't love you on social media? Oh my God, let me tell you something. What I've known in this world is that not everybody is gonna love you. Mm -hmm. Eh, hey, hey, me. Even Jesus. Not everybody loved Jesus even till days. Even till days, there are people who deny God. You know. So um, go with a few that love you. There are definitely gonna be people who will not, who will not like you, and that's okay. Focus on the good energy. I have a lot of people who do not like me. I was bullied. We all saw that. But let me tell you something. I have a lot of people who love me. I meet people and they're like, oh my God, I love what you do. The other day, the recent one that I was just saying, I met this lady um, at a certain place. And she was like, I really watch your content. I love your content. I'm going to be leaving the country tomorrow. But there's some books I just want to send you away. Please just go read them. And I'm like, people who love me want the best out of me. They want to see me elevate myself. So shout out to you guys. You guys are amazing. So tell us more about the now the Dubai eh, Izuma Beach. Mona has yet to build. Actually, someone called me from Bungoma. Can I be? Hey, Mona has yet to build. Yes. Where is them and a training? Unafila ajo kijiona. I am grateful. I am working. As I said, God. We're, not, we're doing local deals, we're doing international deals, <laughs> and like I said, we're just getting started. Dubai was amazing. Um, I'm working with the Dubai tourism, with, with the Dubai government to just promote tourism in Dubai. Mm -hmm. Just tell people, you know what, visit Dubai, it has amazing stuff, amazing things, so we're on billboards. Will you put a chance here at Dubai, working um, with them? Funny thing, is it a funny thing or a weird thing? So that you know that people are watching, not only in our country, 
I was approached by an, an agency in Nigeria. Wow. Yeah. It's not even, I did not get it from our country. I got it from an agency in Nigeria. And they're like, we've been watching your content. And then, how can we get into a meeting? Are you interested? Yada, yada, yada. And yeah, it happened. Okay. Yes. And for you to learn this big roles, is it the way you put yourself as a content creator? I mean, you get roles in Dubai, in South Africa, everywhere. How, like, how do they differentiate now between you and other creators? I think what I can say is God's grace. You know, you can, you can never fight God's grace. Mungu akikumulikei vya seme ni wewe. It's gonna be you. So I just can say God's grace. I'm also a hard worker. I work hard. And how you package yourself, how you carry yourself, definitely um, uh, adds to that as well. Yes. And you've grown so fast, maybe. Have I grown so fast? You know the problem is, the problem is a lot of people saw that video and that was their interpretation of who Azian is. I went to school with you. Can you tell them? And we went to school together in primary, right? What kind of an individual was I? Imagine. Yeah. I was a drama, I was in acting, Nilienda Nationals. I was always an active kid. I've always wanted to do what I did, what I do right now. So most people will look at my journey and be like, man, it's that video. I'm like, man, my journey started when I was in class six, when I was auditioning for that drama on that stage. You get me? So by the time I was finishing high school, I'm like, you know what? I don't want to be idle. I want to get into theater. I get into theater, do theater for two years, do content creation. Nothing happens. Before you know it, I do this video, it blows up. And now somebody's like, oh, you're not going to I'm like, man, I started decades ago. So yeah, I can say it's just progress. It's work in progress. I'm work in progress. Maybe a word to the upcoming, upcoming content creators in Caucasus. Of course, we look up to you. So many people now to us. I want to do something in at least kumoja. Nita pata kufika level in Asia. Dabo just talk to them. Babes, everything and any goja ni kona fish lines. Oh, babes, everything and anything is possible. No one is limited. The sky is not the limit. And this is what I always say. It might not take one week. It might not take two weeks. It might take two days, three days, three years, four years, 50 years. Be patient with yourself. As long as at the end of the day when you go to sleep, you feel like you've done your best, then take it easy on yourself. And Namu Samaivi, there's enough time for everyone to shine. During the day, we have the sun. At night, we have the moon. But when you see other people succeeding, clap for them, be happy for them. Your time is coming. Just work on yourself. And yeah, it's possible. Lastly, do you, what's your future toward this acting? Do you see yourself maybe like Jona, Pale Nigeria, Ogao, Pale? <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. <laughs> we shall see. Uh -huh. We shall see. But you are the best. We should not think Thank you. you. Thank you. An amazing. Thank you so much, guys. And just uh, before we finish, can you see? I mean, people admire Azed a lot. I mean, there are people in the DMs asking, is Azed a konam to Jamani? Mili kumbia anything about whether I'm dating or not, or single, or please msiye kei clip. Thanks. Babes, giving up is not an option. If you give up on yourself, who's going to give in to you? Imagine, no. Work on yourself. Continue working on yourself. Be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Because if you're not kind to yourself, then that's where you go wrong. If they come to me, me, I'm okay. I'm handle it. But imagine someone bullying my dad or my parents or my boyfriend that I had to do. So that's why I'm like my personal life of social media. I am.